going in the right direction. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. There has been radio silence from this Prime Minister since Alberta energy workers called out his government to get serious about a clean energy future. Joe Biden's clean energy tech investments are transforming the American economy, and Alberta workers have been clear. There's a huge opportunity to create a sustainable future rooted in clean tech and good-paying union jobs. But this means the government actually comes to the table with investments. So to the Minister right. of Natural Resources, does this government actually have a plan, and are they ready to commit in this coming budget? Budget than funds necessary for a clean energy economy. The Honourable Minister of, the, uh, of Natural Resources. Speaker, and I want to thank the Honourable Member for his question. I certainly agree with many of the things that he said. It is increasingly and incredibly important for this country to have a relevant economic strategy for a world that is moving towards lower carbon. That is something that we have been working on for the past number of years. You certainly saw it reflected in the fall economic statement with respect to the tax credit for hydrogen and for clean technology deployment. We are going to continue to ensure that we are working forward to build a strong and prosperous economy for Canada in the context of fighting climate change concurrently. Again, it would be lovely if in this House the Conservative Party would actually acknowledge the reality of climate change and have a relevant economic plan. Excellent. I'm afraid that's all the time we have today. C'est tout le temps. That's all the time we have today. If I may have your attention, please. I would like to alert the members to Marie-Cynie Agnan. Okay, nous avons, nous avons un rappel au règlement. We have a point of order, the Honourable Member from Mirabel. Mr. Speaker, when the, de the member from Pitt Meadows was asking his question, I asked the, to the member from Timmins, treat him of a monkey. This member has been in this House for over 17 years. I don't think this is parliamentary language. I think he should give the example by apologizing. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay, um, did you want to respond to that? Yes, Mr. Speaker, uh, you know, I take these rules very seriously. I'm not actually sure what the, my honourable colleague is even talking about, but I have been tried to be fair uh, in giving political advice to anyone from any part of the, the part across any aisle, as I often do. Uh, if anyone takes offence by it, I'm very sorry, but I'm not really sure what he was talking about. But I, I am careful in the advice that I give out, and it's all for free. Okay. What we will do now is we will review the recording and what was said, and if necessary, we will come back to the House. Thank you. I'm just waiting till everything comes. Orders of the day. Government orders, business of supply. Resuming debate on a motion relating to the rising inflation and cost of living, standing in the name of Mr. Halan. 